I'll be using the singlet by Tam Valley. I like the compact size. In fact, it's DCC addressable. And you can set and adjust the endpoints for the unit. As far as uh, mounting, I'm going to be using the supplied templates for the drilling holes here. I won't be using their actual uh, ones that you can purchase. I'm going to make my own. They'll be mounted horizontally on top of the layout. And for the mounting panels, I'm using 1 8, 1 8 inch acrylic sheet. I just bought this at the big box store. I think it was $4 for this one sheet. It'll be easy to score and break. Well, first we'll need to measure the uh, singlet panel here. It's one and a quarter inch by this dimension, and that looks like it's one and a quarter by this dimension, so it is square. I determined I need a two inch square piece, so I just score and break off these particular strips, and then I'll break those into two inches. I've discovered when uh, scoring plastic, uh, it's often slippery and wants to move around, so I found that if you tape it down on your work surface first, and I just use the uh, removable blue tape and put a little tab on it, it makes it easy to pull off. It makes it much easier to cut. So I'm just marking it here for the two inch mark. And once I get one of these templates uh, actually installed and find out that it works well, I'll make a template for drilling and use that for the rest of them. Because the uh, metal ruler is also slippery on the plastic, I like to use the same trick here as far as taping it in place, just using the uh, masking tape. That helps uh, during the scoring process to keep everything lined up. I, I hate it when the darn things slip and you end up with an inaccurate line. So just using the tape like this ensures the fact that it does stay in place uh, while you're doing the scoring. I'm just using a scoring uh, devi uh, device I got from Micro Mart, Micro Mart and uh, it pulled across here about six or seven times. Uh, six or seven pulls gives me about Oh, a third of the depth, I guess, through the plastic. It's really easy to break. Just give it a snap. And there you go. Next, I'll just cut out one of these uh, templates supplied by Tam Valley, and I'll use it to determine where the holes will be drilled. I want about a quarter inch border around the panel underneath because I am going to have a flange on which it sits inside uh, of the cutout. It did take me a little finagling to figure out where to put the template to drill the holes because it is definitely going to be off-center because of where the buttons and LEDs are on the board itself. I've got the template uh, taped down temporarily and I'm just using a steel push pin to mark the holes uh, in the panel itself there so that I can use my small drill bit to drill the pilot holes. I'm using a 16th inch bit with my uh, electric drill here and uh, you have to be careful with plastic when it starts to go through to relieve the pressure, release the pressure, otherwise you'll crack the panel. So fast forward and I've drilled all the holes, painted the panel with some gray primer, and here you're looking at the area where it's going to go. There's the servo embedded in the top, along with the brass tube and the wire that runs the actual turnout. And what I'll do is put the panel right here and mark it to determine where I'm going to cut. After marking the area where I want to cut, I'm using my hot wire cutter here to cut out the um, rectangle area, it's actually two inch square, where the panel will sit. Now I'm going to actually mount it far enough below the surface where that you could put another piece of styrene or something on top with some uh, landscape to kind of hide it for photographs or to hide it if you don't want people fiddling with the controls during an open house. So it takes some time here just to be careful and I don't want to uh, rush it because I just want to cut a certain depth for the panel to fit below for the first cut. By the way, any time that you're cutting foam, you want to make sure you have adequate ventilation and avoid breathing the fumes. So here I'll do a test fit. Looks like it's going to fit. Next thing I'll do is cut down deeper for the board itself. I have mounted the board onto the panel and cut it deeper where everything fits down in there. It looks like it's going to be a good fit. And next up we'll be able to route the wires. Just using my hot knife here to cut a trough for the wires from over from the servo into the pit there where the um, control panel will be and uh, you know you can see the flange here where it will sit below the surface once it's installed. Here's what it looks like with the panel in place. I've not affixed it. It's just sitting in the pit. I just used my electric drill and a bit there to drill down through the uh, inset underneath to uh, feed a wire to the uh, main bus wire. 
and it will be hooked into the bus wire so I can use DCC control if I want to throw these from using my throttle rather than using the push buttons. And here, make sure that I get the wires all dressed up properly. Uh, I'll probably put a dab or two of some type of cement, hold it in place uh, where I can pull it out if necessary, just to hold it from moving around once I use it. And all that's left to do is to test the unit. Just pushing the button here, the throats, you can see the colors of the LEDs change. I like the fact that you can program the color of the LEDs, green, red, clear, or yellow. And here you can see the turnout moving back and forth. You can even control the speed of the throw, which is really nice. Looking forward to making the other panels and getting this done. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it uh, entertaining and um, helpful.